Sweet, finally got an amazing daisy. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Thousand Year Tour. I guess this is where the video starts because I finally found one of these clowns. Let's tattle it. That's gonna waste my ability to get it. I wanted to show one of these. That's not the focus of this episode though. It's an amazing daisy. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. Max HP is 20. Attack is 20. The defense is 1. It pretty much runs away immediately and that's the tricky part. And we don't have Dizzy Spin from the first game or the N64 or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what we can do, I guess. I have the Slippy... Wow. Sleepy Stomp Badge. Never used it before, but it's a strategy. Or I could paralyze it, maybe. Because if I get it, we, we're going to get a level. So star power doesn't really matter, but I want to try the Sleepy Stomp. Nah, it definitely did nothing. Crap! Yes! Got another one, finally! Alright, so we have it tattled. We don't have to waste Goombella's turn. I put, uh, I changed up my badges. I don't have Sleepy Stomp on anymore. But I put Lucky Start back on. That's not really gonna affect anything. So... We can Rally Wink Mario. And that gives him two turns to attack, which should be plenty to take care of that thing. So we could do a fancy jump of some kind, or we could just power bounce it. Let's do two power bounces. I think I got the action command down by now. Not! thought I was going to get it in one. All right, well, you're done, even if I miss. There we go. Very curious how many star points that is. Wow. 44. All right, well, there's our level. So that, um... Probably go with Old Faithful BP. Because there's all these badges. Like, thinking about this fight... There's just so many badges, man, that I could swap around and, I don't know, BP is amazing and there's never enough of it. So actually, speaking of that, and then we'll go to the moon, that's the focus here. Let's, uh... Well, we could take off Lucky Star, I don't really think that's gonna be too amazing anymore. That opens up seven. I want Flower Saver P. Dawdling on the thing. Flower finder, let's go. Star piece! Yeah! Okay, so we're back here in chapter 7. That star piece, it was shown in the cutscene when we first entered this area. I saw it when I went to edit the video and wondered why I didn't pick it up. But General White was tired last time we were searching for that clown, which means he's in this house and here he is. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. The house is on fire! He's still asleep. And the cat's caught in the dryer. Philosophy's a liar. He's definitely still asleep. He's still sawing logs. <laughs> he couldn't be more asleep. Just wake up! Still asleep. Like a stashed baby. Eventually, this... Yeah, there we go. Snorf, horf, norf, norf, moosh. Now, who are you? I'm tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it all is all hopeless. Uh -huh. Hut! That mustache, that hat, and even that hammer! Hut, hut! I've been looking everywhere for you! You clown! We've been looking everywhere for you! Why well to bring that cannon back online? I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the Rogueport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. What? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world. Hip hip hooray! The fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor! Now get moving, hut hut! Jeez. From depressed to happy, just like that. Will it last? 
find out next time in life. So Cannon is back online while I could just explode with delight. I'll let us shoot you guys to the moon. Oh. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez! Now you follow me. I like the Yoshi jump. You come this way. I don't know why I talk like this. Ah, there's an in coupon over here. I'm not gonna use it, although... Do you get something like a nice potato? For using the in out here? Like you did in the N64 if you did it in the snowy land? Whatever. I got some things. I have a thunderbolt randomly that was dropped. But none of that matters. We're trying to beat this game here so we can move on to something, if ever. You stand here. I am standing here. Jeez. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Positions, everyone. You don't need to say that. He already said that. Basically. That would suck to live your life just waiting on orders instead of choosing for yourself. Bring guidance system online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Ah, oh, that siren again. That's a terrible noise. Open outer hatch. Yes. Reminds me of, uh, the Aztec mission in Goldeneye. Open inner shuttle! Shutter. Not shuttle. Or something. Because I was thinking Aztec, and that's a shuttle, and it looks very much like that. Elevate on my mark! Oh, look at those little pink dotted lines. That's one long shaft. With a nice thick base. Sighting target is the moon. I always like stuff like this. Reminds me of Top Gun on the NES. That game had crazy music. Direction some junk that's probably not accurately the moon. Is it? No. There it is, though. Wind speed? Oh, that brings meteorology to mind. Target locks, chamber hatch open. Everyone in! Jeez, look at them file in. This is neat. Close chamber hatch! It's crowded in here, Boom. Stop pushing, Bazoom. Ew, you're on my foot, Baboom. It's tight in here, Plume. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck! Conditions all green, stand by, okay. It's time! Big Bomb Cannon Fire! Yeah! Gotta look at it multiple angles, because it's that awesome. Oh, I thought they died. Well, that's nice. Good luck, Mario. Yes, the old man shot gazing into the sky. Hey, that looks familiar! That's not doing the star music, though, when you take the little bathtub to Bowser's Castle in the first game. We're gonna collide like paper. Right? Yep. That's awesome. I see something for Bobbery. Whoa! That was awesome! Man, who knew adventurers got to do stuff like that? <laughs> the Mario Sprite. Well, we're really truly no fooling on the moon. Let's rock out, Gonzales. Find the last crystal star and save Princess Peach. The moon. Well, we've got space food in our pocket. And a stopwatch. Very nice indeed. Now the question is, in this big yellow turf, something's back here. No, there's not. Badges and star pieces, that's the big question. 
Low gravity and slow movement, though. Now, some of these, I think, are duds, right? This can't be something. That's called a whiff. Let's try again. Yeah, see, that's nothing. But what about in the craters? That's where they would hide a star piece. No, that's not where they would hide a star piece. That's where a moron would think that they would. So we'll save. Now that we got an amazing daisy and all those video files are good now. Let's see. So we got the three space food. And we have room for one more thing. All right. I know the main thing we have to do here, but I don't know what other treasures may await, like behind this rock? No, see, maybe they're not that tricky. But they are, though. They did it in the N64 game. I thought they did it in... They always, even in this game, they hide stuff behind everything, like that ink coupon just now. And that star piece, too, kind of. This... We're not going to make it. All right. Go! If I could lure them... Well, whatever. Come back here. We already tattled these guys down in the pit. So that's good, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's just quick hammer them. Oh yeah! A bucket just fell. Yeah, we're not really gonna see too many star points for the rest of this game, I imagine. Well, maybe. When we get to the bottom of the pit and uh, the end of the game, we probably will. Maybe even where we're headed once we get off of this moon. Part of me wonders if that space food is even necessary. Well, I mean, I know it's not necessary. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, it's man, I was trying to. Yep. As good as ever, Fox, as Peppy would say, and uh, I believe that's Star Fox Assault. The whole moon just fell. Didn't make me laugh like the bell, though. Still trying to get insurance, that's the thing that's going on. Hey, a volt shroom. We could cook that with a cake mix and get an electric lollipop. I may do that, but now we have a full inventory. And where we're going, we don't need roads. Ah, whatever. I was gonna check for a star piece. But I'll happily put my butt on spikes instead. It didn't even do anything. Is the moon gonna fall again? Place your bets. No, but... Oh, yeah, it did! Oh, I yelled it! What's happening? Probably a coin. I was gonna say something bad, but then it was... Alright. Hmm, just got back from the store. That's the thing that happened. The other day, my mother forced me to go get that CBD oil stuff. I'm trying that for the first time, but I don't know. Because in my mind, there's nothing that you could possibly take that's going to fix your problems. I, don't know. I, I get it, though. If the anxiety is way too intense, that you can't focus. There's no way you can go about solving your problems. But it's not working. My phone has been ringing off the hook from hook. What? Yes. From insurance people, and I've just been afraid to answer the call because I don't want to talk to them. I know they're going to be like, "Oh yes, we can help you." Blah 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 blah. And then it's going to be like, "Well, if you pay three hundred dollars a month, you can have everything that you want." And I'd say, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? And they'd say, I've never seen it. And I'd say, you're full of crap. And that's why I'm not buying your junk. Yes, drop the moon on you. 
Ah, bobbery. It's not worth it. It'd just be faster to do this. Employer contribution. That's what we miss. That makes insurance affordable. Yeah, well. I don't know what's gonna happen. This might be the last Let's Play ever! Or it may not. Today, by the way, Nintendo and, well, not really Nintendo, uh, Square Enix finally released the uh, release date trailer for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. The one game that if I only play one more game ever and record it, that's the one I want to do. This is a new enemy, finally. But yeah, August 27th. Ah, crud, there's another one. Uh, well, we don't have Goombello ready, so might as well just get down to business. It's enough. Very nice indeed. Huff, I said. Yeah. How many star points is that? Eh, we're slowly getting there. Over halfway. But yeah, August 27th. The problem with that is that there's no way to sneak into the research section. Now, Perfect Dark quotes aside. Uh, Perfect Dark just had its 20th anniversary. It's helping that one video out on my channel, which I still think is my best video ever. But others would disagree. Let's get the tattle. Oh yeah, he's gonna do his... Oh. I wasn't expecting the HP thing, but I knew he was going to do the little mini guy. z yux A genetic improvement on the original Yux. HP 7, attack 4, and he does what they all do. And he can restore HP. Okay, so we saw all of this. These guys are a pain in the neck. The way Falco says it, he could sure be a pain in the neck. I believe he's talking about Slippy when he says that. Alright. Well, we might as well tattle the mini guy since we know that's a thing. Wasting our time. But, yeah, August 27th. The problem with that is days after that, like a week after the 27th, I'm going to England. And, uh, Let's just assume, for argument's sake, I can get the old team back together. And do co-op recording with the friends I played the original game on the GameCube with. Alright, this is a bunch of crap. Do it, Goombella. Alright. Uh... I'm still not gonna be able to record it right away on launch day. It's gonna be like a month later, because I'm looking to extend my stay in England to be a month long. I don't know if it's gonna be possible yet, because it's impossible to get a hold of the stupid airline. And I also still don't know, I saw that back there. I don't know if it's affordable either. I'm just trying to inquire about the price and I can't get a hold of it. There we go. Uh. More annoying guy out of the way first. So yeah, between the insurance thing, if I even do that, I, I don't know. I'm trying to ignore it because it's going to put me in a foul mood again the more I think about what has to be done. Because it's like everybody except for you guys is telling me to stop doing YouTube stuff. And, uh... There we go, that's where we gotta go. But... There was that way at the start when we first landed on the moon. 
I'm just curious because this reminds me way too much of like the very top of flower fields where you could find a badge there and some stuff. Nah, nut. At least they're easy to super guard. That stopwatch could be a problem. But if we flip them upside down and then Yoshi. What did that do? Alright. Pressing R is weird sometimes. I just leave it basically pressed in and smush it. Does that button you smush? The A button on this controller is starting to feel weird, which makes me nervous. Although, any official Nintendo controller, no button has ever broken on it for me. Well, that's not true. The Super Nintendo controllers, the start buttons get really tough to push in after a while. Like, I have so many of them. But the start button is just such a pain to get to work. And the D-pads are a little weird on those. I guess there's nothing over here. Maybe behind that rock in the back, but it takes too long to move on here, and I'm getting impatient. So if there's a badge or something good here, I guess say goodbye to it. Yeah, because... I just want to get going. Although I believe this is the only time that you can come to the moon, because once we beat this fortress here, you can't come back. Oh, think. Unless you can launch again? No, there's no way back. So yeah, this is a one-time deal. This building stinks of serious funny business. Careful, Gonzales. Alright, well, I know we got a new tattle coming up, so... Speaking of flying to England, these things remind me of moving sidewalks. That you see in airports all the time. Oh yeah, the farting music. Who's that, dude? Whoa! That's Mario! So, let's get him? Finally a taste of these guys. I don't remember what their deal is, but let's look in the old dictionary. The old two-inch brush. That's an elite x -Nol. This guy is the creme de la creme of the x -Nols. HP 10, attack 5, he'll use regular attacks and boost his power and do random stuff. Alright, so just give him the smackdown. Or whatever she said. Okay. Nuts. I tried to do the B button one. Well. So yeah, depending on how things go, I might not be able to play that game until October. And by that point, everybody else will have done it. I don't know why that's a thing. Because for a while, like in the very beginning, that was like my only fighting chance to maybe... ...have people come across the channel. But yeah! Crystal Star's in here. And Peach must be here too, we gotta find her, Mario! <laughs> Oh yeah, we got this crazy music now. Sure, why not? Uh, we still got some time. Let's do a little bit of this stuff. I believe it goes on for a bit, so if we do some of it now... Maybe next episode we could knock the rest of it out. That would be ideal in terms of progress. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Get over here, pal. Mm-hmm. Rump to the face! Rump shaker! Just enough too! Beautiful, let's do it again! Well, actually, we don't even have to. Remember that song, Rump Shaker? Rex in effect. That's some 90s hip hop, man, the best kind! Yeah, I think everything from the 90s is amazing. Ah, uh, yes, these things. Alright, uh, do you remember? The tile before you in September. That didn't work at all. Let's open the thing. Elevator key. And what is in here? Oh, I kind of want that. 
Thunderbolt or Volt Shroom? Which one creates a better recipe? There's something about those I don't remember. Everything else I want to keep. Uh, we'll toss the Volt Shroom. I think they're pretty cheap in the one shop in Rogueport anyway, if I needed it. Although now I think that's the one I need for the recipe. Not that I need it. The lollipop I was talking about. Yeah, this is a cool place. I like it. And they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now. Wait till Coops goes in the elevator with you. And <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me right now? Everything. If given the choice between left and right, you always go left first. I don't know why that's a thing, but it seems to never fail. Stop watching McGee. Well, we know. Uh, a little bit of the rump shaker should take care of him. So yeah, let's do it. I don't know why I'm goofing around on the menu. What do you know about that power plus rump? Who's got the stopwatch now? I don't know what that means. Almost there. 11 more points. That's not how you open a door, although you think it would work. Ah, oh, yes, the crane. Gears under repair. We gotta go find the gear. Look at those two badges. Feeling fine? Reminds me of Clay Fighter. I think it was Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay. Super Nintendo, man. One of the characters said, feeling flat. I think it was the blob. Maybe Banana Man. Could have been tiny. I don't know. Man, Clay Fighter, that takes me back. Neither Clay Fighter game is actually that good. Oh, look at We got these new guys. What do the notes say now? Galloping toward an era of risk-free potions. That would be nice. I mean, I guess real life does have potions. It's just called the Medicine Isle. Medicine Ball! That's something Tiny said in Clay Fighter. Alright, x not phd really? They invent annoying things we- what? Oh, they invent the annoying things we fight, gotcha. They throw beakers that do all kinds of stuff, like make you huge or burn people. Heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. So all the status effects. Multi-pounce is my friend. So much for your room powder. I don't know what that would have done if I didn't block it. Still not quite there, but probably the next fight we'll get one. I want to read the rest of the notes, though. Keep the workspace orderly. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow, and that's that. Good for you, buddy. I guess. I'm leaving the lab. Always do your all-point inspection as loud as possible. Yeah, well, whatever. Nothing in here. Yeah, we just walk right by him, even though we're sitting on a level here. Oh yeah, this one. The answer's on the back wall, but you can also kind of see it. Look for the glowing pink. Yeah, just look at the floor. The ones that are clearly more pink is the right one. I don't even need to look at the pictures in the background. Alright. Two card keys. For every coops. Yeah, we're going to Surf City. Sleepy sheep. Nobody wants that. So, what thoughts have I said and didn't finish, as we always do? I don't know. Whoa, that was a close call. Ah! Actually, this is a great room to find right now, considering we're coming up on that half hour mark. So yeah, this is a teleporter that leads. Well... Where does it lead? There's that cog that we need, too. The Cog of Destiny. That's a chapter in Fire Emblem 7. Towards the end of the game. Very long chapter, too. I played that game. It's like one of my worst Let's Plays. But it's there. Where is this? 
That was a satisfying echoed switch noise. We're under Rogue Port! The Exynos used that thing to come here from the moon! Yeah, well, while we're here, there's a star piece here I've never picked up yet. I'm not going for 100% of those, I'm just remembering them. Well, speaking of, let's see what we can afford from this dude. Seven. So we could get Peekaboo, but who needs it at this point? Heart Finder would actually be pretty good as we get to the final floors of the Pit of 100 Trials. I mean, Happy Flower could come in handy, but... I'm thinking, uh... Heart Finder is probably the best one. Flower Saver would be good to double up on that as well. But Flower Saver P is way more effective, I think. Since they cost more anyway. Well, yeah, that's an option now for when we go to... What do we still have left to do? Floor 70 to 100? That might have to be two videos because the fights get nuts. Just from what I've seen other people do. I want to check, though. Remember I thought you could get to this left roof? I just want to test it. But then we got to call it quits, man. Definitely get here, but what's it all for? Nothing. Really? Okay. So, we've gone to the moon, we encountered an amazing daisy. Gained a level or two. I don't remember how many we gained, actually. And I have some things I can cook up. I have that sh super shroom, and the volt shroom I threw away, but I have that thunderbolt. I could make something new with those while we're here but either way next time oh man more random emails let's get some cake mix because i know we need it for that lollipop actually you know what yeah i'm just gonna see what i can do here because i'm out of yeah so next time we'll pick up there thanks for watching and uh take care